Hi, I'm Michael Painter and I am a producer, songwriter and session musician from Melbourne. I got signed to a, a label when I was um, 18 and then I was signed to that label until I was about 27. Just working with all the producers and songwriters that you do as a pop act, um, as my personal career started to wind down, I realised how much I loved being in the studio with those, those guys behind the computer making the sounds, creating the landscape, and the sort of the touring and the public face of it was probably my least favorite. So it was just kind of a natural progression. We formed M Squared in 2011. I've been doing that since then. And that involves songwriting and producing, um, engineering, mixing, that kind of thing. So everything we do is in a, a computer, so there's no desk or I don't even run any Apple compressors or anything like that. So it's literally uh, when you're dealing with, with um, that kind of setup, what that what's going in to the computer has to be great. Um, and so, I mean, without trying to sound like a sickening advertisement, that's why I love the Helix, because it's literally just plug in. You barely even need to EQ it. It's just, it's ready to go. I probably took uh, maybe a day really just getting used to it. And it was just that thing where you just sit it down and you just go, what does this thing do? I didn't read a manual. Nothing. Just literally put it on the desk and started pressing things and in a couple of hours I had complete and like uh, comprehensive knowledge. It's so, people say it's so intuitive, but it really is. I also uh, am a session musician, so I play keyboards um, and guitars and vocals. Um, in Currently my projects are The Veronicas and Ice House. <laughs> It's so uh, great to use live. It is so easy. The snapshots, every song is just boom. There's a song and there's four parts to the song. You've got every single part of the song you need. If you want to go and change something, you flip the switch and you can change the gain on your Tube Screamer without having to touch the thing. You can do it with your feet. One thing I've had to do in the past is depending on which gig you're at, you do a whole bunch of, oh, there's too much bottom in now, or, oh, maybe there's too much 3K in this wedge or whatever. It's because it's so good and so true. Doesn't matter where I've gone, it's just literally plug and play. We've played it at places like, you know, the Forum, or even playing at like Rod Lab Arena, or you're playing at like the Corner Hotel, or the ESPY. It doesn't matter where you are, plugging that straight into the desk. Like, it's, it's uncanny how many times an engineer will come up and just sort of stare at it and just kind of look at me and just say that's, you know, it's even, so people are still kind of catching on to how good it sounds, but the fact of, you know, when you've got the bass player lugging a fridge onto the stage and you've got your drummer that's setting up for 10 minutes and I literally walk on with a guitar and a backpack and a helix and I just go, yep, good, you know. It's more, uh, it's more time to do my hair while everybody else is setting up their gear. <laughs>